Good evening. And welcome back to the crust. Last episode, we were looking at whether, well, I was looking at whether um, the uh, comma center, whether pausing the game yourself and then going into the comma center or whether going into the comma center via just a button, because when you press it, it pauses the game. Uh, allows you to buy things without the price changing because every time you buy something usually the price goes up and it doesn't um i tried it uh buying smart concrete like this where i paused the game via the button or where we paused it ourselves and i tried it every time i brought it it was at 54 i brought 300 it went up to 56 i brought 300 it went up to 59 so okay i said i was going to buy them under 50 i wanted to get it done so yeah so under 60 I could have waited a bit longer. I was impatient. So yeah. So that's there. I am recording this episode directly after the last one. So apologies if you've commented on the previous episode and I don't get to your comment because um time constraints. I needed to I need to get a bit ahead of myself because of stuff, because um I'm uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing other things. So uh so what I want to do is we uh now that's done. You are going to finish it. Oh, I need to actually send the stuff, don't I? So uh, let's uh, let's let's complete this thing here. So send uh, 300, 300, 300, and then send 100 and that, 100 of that, send. Okay, and that will get that contract complete. Our drones will get on with that and that. Awesome. Uh, we want to get our batteries and stuff done down here because this is, this is, uh, we, we need this, we need this done down here. So um, I actually need to wait for them to do the contract first. Now I think about it because, uh, can't otherwise so let's um let's 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 let them do the contract first and then once drones have finished doing all the contract we can build things because uh we've only got so many drones and uh they need to do other stuff director we received requests from two competing organizations malachi and ief both are asking for support, but we can only collaborate with one. Review the situation and make a decision. The disaster on the moon diminished Eurasian countries' trust in Crust and its programs. Together with the Malachite conglomerate, these states developed the Aurora Aerospace Complex Project. The company's representatives contacted us and invited us to participate in the project as a resource supplier on favorable terms. Upon learning of this, Activists from the International Environmental Front decided to thwart the emergence of new dirty industries on Earth and prepared their own Aurora project to restore melting glaciers. The IEF plans to redirect the attention of Malachite investors to a more pressing environmental issue. We need to decide who to contract with. Okay. So... The Aurora project. I have always gone with the IEF. Um, uh, I've done done this three times. I've done with the IF every single time, and it doesn't. I don't think it turns out badly for us, but I've never seen what Malachite is. So we're going to go with Malachite this time. We're going to try and help them build a very interesting looking rocket that's absolutely of their own design and definitely not taking inspiration from anywhere else at all. Yep, never seen that design of rocket before in my life, ever. You made the right choice, Director. The explosion on the moon was a great tragedy, but it was an eye-opener for many. The crust monopoly threatens humanity's progress in space exploration. Activists have been trying for centuries to resurrect an already dying planet while we seek solutions for our common future. The data for the first contract has already been sent. We hope to send it as soon as possible. Okay understood so what we got for a new contract here i was in the middle of doing something there um i also realized i made a mistake um in my uh, editing i am um there'll be an edit there'll be an edit and it will seem a little weird but that's because i just recorded a couple of minutes of stuff without unmuting my microphone because that happens okay so you want 120 brick and 50 titanium we don't quite have enough for that but we can definitely get it uh let's send the first light resources um let's just send them all now bum, 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 bum. so we need to buy some titanium and concrete okay set let's buy 100 concrete and 100 titanium 
It's more than they want. But they don't want a hundred of each. So, but that's just going to replenish our stock. So, you'll see here. So, yeah, um, I finished the contract. The contract finished. They sent all the stuff up there, and I come down here and uh, I started building um, the uh, things here. And I haven't unmuted the mic, so let me explain what I've done here. Um, in order to combat the situation where if one of these dies, we have a long, a long string of uh, buildings connected together, and if one of them uh, requires maintenance, not dies, requires maintenance, it blocks the path. Um, I am doing three solar panels in the battery connected to a uh, utility pole in the center. That utility pole will connect to all the rest of these utility poles. And then we're doing the same here. We just reverse it around, battery and three things there. And then we're just gonna come this way with it. Many, 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 all the way over to here somewhere. That should be enough power for us. That really should be enough power to keep us going all the time. So yeah, um, we may need more batteries overall because um, the batteries are the throughput. So the, these batteries, speed up time to get this built uh these batteries can output uh 50 megawatts these can output 10 so what this is worth five of those so if we have two of them that's 100 megawatts right now we're only we've got 190 megawatts so we need like four of the batteries but we can always put more batteries on this end as well we can we can do another loop there there's enough enough to do another loop here with space on the end of the, ex the uh, expedition center so we could do that or alternatively, I could just put more batteries down here. The large batteries are the la the, the only batteries you can you can do. You, you can't there, there are no bigger batteries in the game yet. There's no other power generation other than solar panel. There is a larger solar panel um, here. I personally, and this is just a personal thing, don't think the large solar panel is worth building. Um, not because it's, it's it, I mean it's expensive to build, but by the time you get to this game, you should have these things really. But the main we reason. We have a new contract. This time from the Southwind Corporation. Right. I'm sure you won't let me and the company down. I'm I'm I'm, I'm okay. We'll pfft, see. Th this is he's he. At least I get the opportunity to accept the contract this time. Previously, he would just just do it himself. So we, we'd accept that. That's fine. But um, uh, my reason behind the large solar panel is that it takes up the space of nine medium panels and produces 300 energy these produce 75 75 times 9 is 675 power twice what this produces so yeah the only advantage it really has uh, it's got two advantages over the um the, the panel there so um it's that it only requires five cpu per one of these this requires three cpu per go so you get nine well you could build um center have hundred you build four of these for one of these um so it would require three six nine twelve cpu which is over double the cpu consumption that's a bit of a pain also the maintenance these require um well they only require steel so that's not too bad i don't know what the actual large solar panels require maintenance wise but you've only got one instead of four of these but still is not that bad so i don't really think the maintenance is a big deal the cpu one is a big deal but then you just build more CPU, so that's not a problem. But I just, considering you can get nine of them in the same space and space on the surface is kind of premium, you've got plenty of space, but it's not an infinite amount of space. Um, if we build it here, uh, we'd build uh, nine of them with three batteries that have one of these with, this, with three batteries connected to it in the same space and produce half the electricity. Nah, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, Research new contract. Complete new contracts um this one we can do this one we can do just right now let's do this one right now Send. uh this one we cannot do um however before i send that one off i'm going to pause the game just a moment and we're going to go to the surface because if i go here here you've got five modular terminals how many do you want you want 15 so we'd have to buy 10. how much are they Seven thousand. dollars so if we were to buy 15 of it well 15 of these that's one hundred eight thousand. and then they want to buy how many 30 modular frames so well press more buttons 30 modular frames and uh 50 modules 169 he he'll give us 150 back yeah we're losing money on it 
if we can get rid of five of them, we can make a bit of money just by picking stuff up from the surface of the moon. Um, I'm sure there was modular terminals as well somewhere, wasn't there? Uh, not much, there was um, this requires. I oh know this this requires five of them, doesn't it? We don't get five back. This requires five of them. Ah, so we need to buy twenty of them, twenty modular terminals to complete this contract. How long do we have? Fifty-eight days to complete it. Um, what are the prices like at the moment? You are cheap. It can be 2,700, so you are cheap. What about module terminals? Module terminals are, they can be a thousand less. So, we would buy 20 of those. Let's wait, let's hold off. These are cheap though. What if we bought 30 of those in? Let's buy 50 in. Let's buy 50 in because 50 is good. Yeah, that's, that's a whole shit. Let's, let's buy 50 in. That's a lot of money. But. You know, we, we can we can always store them and sell them later. That's fine. Um, so we'll do that. Um, oh, you don't have the resources because you don't have smart concrete or aluminium. That's a bit of a problem for us. So uh, we also need to do stuff in here. So our drones, uh, our miners have finished mining things. So I'm going to start mining. I'm going to start strip mining um, here. Um, I don't know if I've explained why I do this in strips or not, but I would explain it again if I have. I do apologize if I go over the same thing a couple of times, but... I don't remember. <laughs> Memory's bad. Um, so, drones mine from the elevator outwards. So, they will come to the elevator and they'll go, where's the nearest place to drop to mine? And they'll just go, okay, so if you mine this whole area um, out, they will go from the elevator. Okay, so I'll mine this one here. That's fine. The next closest one is this one. The next closest one is this one. That's fine. That's fine. Then they do these ones over here. And eventually you get to a point where they're doing one up here, one down here, one up here, one down here, one up here, one down there. And they're driving backwards and forwards, particularly if you have a very large area. They might be driving from this point all the way down to this point and all the way back up again, and they're just wasting time. If you do it in strips, so you can use Q and E to rotate the camera and it snaps to 45 degree angles. So you just snap it to a 90 degree angle, you uh, hold the button, press S to drag along, bump like that, and then just do the same, A to go back, S to drag along to your nearby, uh, and then you're mining in strips. And then that means they'll mine this strip out. Then they'll mine this strip out. Then they'll mine this strip out. So they're only ever mining in this little area. They're only ever mining five wide. They're not mining a hundred wide. So, um, and that can speed up your mining process. It just, it, it's, it's so much better. I really wish the miners would um, uh, look from their current location and mine out. Not from uh, their... Uh, not from the elevator. Um, I just mine up the back just to make it a nice straight wall. So yeah, and that'll let them mine it. So they'll mine this strip, then they'll mine the next strip, then they'll mine the next strip, then they'll mine the next strip, and so on and so forth. Rather than mining out a bit here and then coming down here, mining a bit here, and then they mine like a big, a big, big like um, uh, crescent moon shape, heart, a semicircle, and and then they're mining. They're not mining like in the semicircle. They mine one up here, then come down one up here, then one up here, then they go to center, then they go do it again, and I just, it's it's painful. It's painful. Probably much like my speaking all the time. Painful. Um, so, let's get on with this. We have more research complete. Um, I have been trying to um, even out the research. So, uh, we have... I'm trying to get the first two rows of um, fundamental done. Uh, we have the first... Engineering has a zero row. So, this is one and two. So, you see here. So, one, two. Social, one and two. Engineering has a zero row because that's the first thing you ever have to research so um, i'm just trying to keep the research kind of even so i don't shoot off down one research tree which is what i tend to do um it's not a bad thing because sometimes you want stuff in engineering that you want to get later on but it means you leave things behind and particularly drone upgrades i tend to leave behind a lot and that causes problems like we can increase excavation speed we can make drones faster it hurts you overall we also do want to research living quarters and the ice pressing because we need to do this for a mission so We'll get that done. So, yeah. Okay. Contract complete. We have a new contract, uh, which is this one here. So, um, okay. Uh, this one here is another new contract. Um, we can almost do that. Uh, can't we? Let's take apart these big machines. Yeah. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, like that. Uh, these are the ones. So, we'll take apart the big machines because this has microcircuits inside it. Some of them. Uh, these don't, but these do. 
So we get some microcircuits. Oh, we're wasting science, apparently. What are we wasting? We're wasting engineering. Okay, so this is a bit of a problem as well. Um, you end up, you have to kind of go down one, one tree a bit more because you just don't have the thing to do. You just don't. So I cancel that one and we put in the smart concrete. That's already done. What about putting in that one? Okay, that one can be done a little bit there. Always end up with more engineering than anything else. Always do. Always do. Take these down. Ooh, ooh, let's have a look at how much um what the terminals are ah, i missed it they went down to 6200 i missed it i missed it four days ago I was talking talking but you got me talking why, why'd you get me talking oh, i don't know missed it all uh we can complete this one though uh, we have all the resources of this now yep oh because we just got microcircuits from there so complete that that's going to give us uh, a lot of money i think 110,000, that'll do. Great, basically. Awesome. I should really send the road for picking up stuff, shouldn't I? Should we do that? Let's do that as well. We got, it means we're going to lose some rovers uh, for moving things around, but um, let's do this one. Bit all. Uh, it's going to take two rovers. It will dig out these bits here and bring them back to us. 25 circuits as well. That'd be useful. These are nice. They are expensive. Oh, okay. Um, that's why I parked the rover next to the expedition center, so he just drives into the expedition center. Job done. Yeah. So we're going to lose two rovers. Two rovers are going to go out to uh, uh, here, and away he goes. Bump takes that's twelve rovers. So uh, twelve robots. Sorry, that's a rover. These are robots. So we've got ten moving things around and two mining. That's not so bad. Uh, how are we doing for this guy here? You are uh, you're doing all right for science. Um, Let's go down to the unknown field and just pop the science back up again. Uh, we need to send an engineer here to unlock this, so we have no idea what that one is. The observatory. Oh, that's a new another signal I haven't done yet. So uh, we'll do that one first and play that one. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Come on, Rebus. Uh, they're trying to pick stuff up off the surface. Yeah. Uh, this requires. Is it aluminium? It's aluminium it's struggling for. Can we buy some aluminium in? Um, just to keep us going? 150,000 aluminiums. Way more expensive than I remember it being. But I, I thought aluminium was about the same price as silicon and stuff, but no. Okay. Uh, rather than buy that in, then we won't bother. Um, we need to. We got enough of these. We need to get modular terminals. 645,000. That's not bad. I'm going to hold off a little bit longer. Run the risk here, run the risk here. Okay, so now we have titanium plates and nanotubes. We don't have this. So how much are 70 nanotubes and 150 titanium plates? So 100 nanotubes, 100,000. There's 200,000 back for that. And um, oh, that would be that. And then how much would 150 titanium be? 197,000. So 191,000. So we... I'm kind of flashing through the contracts um, quickly. Um, right, let's just buy a hundred, shall we? Uh, actually, no. Let's let's um, let's fill a thing up. Let's fill a 150 there. Let's bump. Um, I'm flashing through the contracts way quicker than I would do normally. Spending money like it's water and not too fussed about it. But I'm trying to force myself to get on with it, do things, go, 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 rather than be like, we'll wait for this to happen, we'll wait for that to happen, which is what I normally do, and that's not good for anyone. So, um, what is it used to build these things? Can we get aluminium back from any of these? No, none of them require aluminium. Okay, so we can't get aluminium back from these. What about these guys? Titanium, uh, silicon, steel. Yeah, no aluminium around. That's a shame. Wasting science points. No. Uh, no, pause. Thank you. Um, once again, engineering. We're going to be wasting engineering science points and fundamental science points. Oh, right, cancel that one. We need more social. We could go and buy some social science. Um, I'm sure this used to tell you how far through these were scanned. And it does seem to do that now. Like, like it would tell you... They need bars on them to tell you what they're, what's completed on them. So, um... Uh, I need something that's really expensive uh, engineering-wise. 
to do. Um, let's get drone upgrade expedition speed. That can do some engineering. That can use up our engineering. So, um, yeah. Cool. Oh, right. Uh, not a resource to build a module. I know we need more aluminium. Did we? Did we actually find the aluminium? We didn't, did we? I don't think we did. And water titanium. No, I don't think we found the aluminium, did we? No. Hmm. Okay. Can we turn this guy on? Do a bit of a scan somewhere. Uh, can I see any wispy things? Can I. There's one down there. Iron. Lovely. Um. I don't see any. No, I don't. I don't see any. Um, any, any, any. Uh, I know there's one. There's there's a thing there. So let's scan like all that area there, and then do a scan like here. There's no resources over there. It's not a bad thing because it means we can build on top of it, but I want aluminium and I don't see any. Back here. There's something there. Let's do a scan like that. Titanium. Yay. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm very concerned that we do not have a very good map here. Um, yeah, because you also need titanium, uh, sorry, you need aluminium to make um, fuel. And uh, there's one there. Oh, apparently you can scan while paused. Did not know that. Oh, so the one there. Let's uh, do water. Let's do one over here as well. Just general direction uh, it's right there titanium hmm this is not a good map this is not a good map there is no aluminium anywhere near me there's a lot of water which isn't bad there's a lot of titanium one two three uh there's iron down there there's iron over there there's titanium up there um hmm yeah this is not a good map <laughs> uh, okay let's uh, stick our board detector right up there in the corner so, um, do that wasting more science points are we really uh, I don't think we are I don't no, I didn't think we were okay uh, yeah, so we might have to buy in aluminium, which is not going to be fun. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That, uh, oh, I missed it. It's too busy scanning. Too busy scanning. Okay, we'll wait another day and we'll see what happens. So, um, yeah. money, money. Oh, yeah, but um, belts and things. Uh, sorry, um, wires when you remove a building that has wires attached to it so i need i need i need aluminium um did we we make we did... <laughs> stop slow down we have made the um i am what's going on what's going on repeater let's build the repeater that's what i want to do i want to build the repeater the repeater is a wonderful wonderful thing that i normally it's hold off complete. until way later to build um, and I shouldn't, I really should not hold off so far with the um, repeater. Put it there. Um, Research complete. Okay, we're ready. Director, use the room planner tool and lay down a room of the required size. Okay, switch to room building mode and prepare to plan for a future room. Don't forget to install doors before completing the design. And we yes, Director, several technical modules will be needed for the colonists' living conditions. Try to separate the sleeping quarters and production areas in advance. After all, we want the staff to come to work well-rested, right? 
that doesn't actually really matter if i'm honest so <laughs> uh yeah so we could build rooms uh we're not gonna do it yet not do it yet um let me wrap in this here so we know what we're doing here so um yeah um Another day has gone by. Let's have a look. See, module terminals, they, they're going up in price again. No, no, it's okay. We've still got 41 days left. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, we can send it all in one go as well. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what's the other contract? Uh, you, um, oh, you want nanotubes and titanium. Uh, wait, didn't I? Brought them but didn't send them. Huh. How strange. Why did I buy them but not send them? How weird. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. I'm distracted. I'm doing too many things at once. Losing the plot. Losing the plot. Yes, I had the plot. I'm sure I had the plot. Okay, you can do that there. Uh, you you arrived there yet? You you're about to arrive now. Awesome. Okay. Oop, you got the stuff, you're going to bring it back. Excellent. Okay, wasting science points again. Hey, at least we've finished some stuff up now. So, right, so if I come up to the top, and uh, basically what I want to do is I want to go like one, two from there. Uh, we've, we've basically got two from here anyway, so let's not do that. And then, well, we need to do more here, so yeah, let's just do this. Okay. Um, I want to. I do want to try and keep the science spread even because I feel like I, as I said, I'd go down one thing like engineering. I'll go down the engineering one because I know I want this and I want that and I want the other, and and it's fine. But then I miss out on doing things like the uh, drone upgrades, or I miss out on getting the better CPU data, which are down here somewhere, um, or getting the better so like the farms. You need to make carbon fiber. You need organics. And if you haven't come down here, you don't get enough organics to do the things you want to do. So it's kind of complicated. And yeah, it becomes a bit of a pain too. Okay, uh, modular frames are... Oh, hold on for a little bit longer. We're okay. We're okay. We've got mod sorry, modular terminals, not frames. Modular terminals. Uh, aluminium still... Ah. Maha, fraction of hope. The identified object has turned out to be a module from an orbital station. The area around it is littered with thousands of small fragments and the module itself is bent and twisted. Approaching closer and inspecting the debris, the cargo truck's cameras, science truck cameras, notice that a particularly, a partially faded inscription, Hope 2 RM5. Before the collapse, this was a research module for the Hope 2 station. Hope 2 station got hit, bits fell off of it. Apparently the station sustained serious damage in the external and the external module detached from the main structure. It's possible to send a cargo rover with a drone for a detailed exam examination of the module. Got it. Okay. Our rover's coming back anyway. So we'll do that in a moment. Uh, in the meantime, you should come up here and investigate this. I'm sure I did this and I must have told the robot to go somewhere else. So, Oh, actually, we don't even need to send a drone. We can we just send a thing and pick up some stuff. Nice. Okay. Doop. Uh, add that one. To go through this, yeah. So, okay. uh, right. So, uh, research okay. complete. So we still have, so we have another and another contract from you. Yeah. Now you want stuff that is. I think the idea of these contracts is they're supposed to be like, hey, you want to do this next, so this should be where you go in your technology tree, so you could hold off. Don't worry about bonus play through build the things yourself go to i'm just buying stuff because i can 20 composites 250 carbon fiber 20 composites is 205,000 250 carbon fiber is 372 in total you'll give us 345 which is yeah okay let's see what is this like carbon fibers not bad it's been 800 uh, it's currently that it has been under 600 so we'll hold off on that uh, composites are really high uh like almost twice the price they should be so we we'll definitely hold off on those we'll wait we'll wait um building this here this needs more titanium plates which has microcircuits which i don't think it has but our rover should be coming back with some of those 
Yep. Cool. Um. Okay. Uh, right. So, have you built this? You built this here. Awesome. Can we? It's night time. It's night time, and I don't have the stuff to build the batteries. Can we see anything over here? Uh, I might need to clean my monitor. Uh, sit up. Sit up. Have a look. Have a look. Have a look. Is there anything I can see that's um? No. Oh, there's one, two there. So if I did that, I'd get two of them. And then we're out of batteries. Oops. Silicon and iron. Great, great, groovy. Uh, I don't see any in there. You might be able to see more than me because the way the, um, there's one there, one there as well. The way compression works. So we have enough power, we don't have enough power. Uh, not compression, the way the, um, the, the game black is different to the recording black. It's just the nature of how stuff works, uh, encoders work. So um, it's possible that the wisp might be more visible on there. Sometimes I do look over to my other monitor to see what OBS is seeing to do things. So but yeah, so we're out of power. Everything's going to shut down. Okay, that's fine. So let's leave this one here. Just can't stay over and see it's, it's gone half an hour mark. So we'll leave this one here. Uh, we'll come back next time where um, I won't be a scatterbrained and hopefully we can get some more stuff coming in um i don't know what to do about the aluminium situation i could well we can get the rocks around here and get a little bit of aluminium but mm, problems 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 yep problems indeed okay let's just leave this for a minute and we'll come back later thank you very much for watching i do hope you've enjoyed this one i hope you get in the next one and until then as always have fun 